Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a little vlog today, a quick update. I had my ultrasound appointment yesterday. I'll be 34 weeks tomorrow, which is Saturday. She, a month ago she was measuring almost three pounds. She was like two ounces shy from three pounds. And now, here's the chunky butt. She is measuring a whopping four pounds, 12 ounces. When the lady did the measurement of the head circumference, I got nervous because it seemed like it was measure, the baby was measuring like two weeks ahead. So I got really, I got really nervous. But when they did the overall measurements, it looked a lot better. Hi. Huh? Huh? <laughs> so I'm cooking dinner. Uh, this is not what we're having for dinner. I am prepping it because I didn't want it to go bad. I... Mommy, I want to go to the What do you want? Okay. Ooh, you want some? Yeah. Is it please? Please. Okay. So I guess we're going to have some uh, animal crackers. Give me a bowl. I put our bowls in a bottom cabinet so that the girls can get them. Oh, you may have to get a clean one from in here, honey. Um, so that the girls can uh, kind of get it themselves. That one! Mom, that you want orange? Okay. Orange. Hold it. So we try to make them a little bit independent in that aspect, which is good. So that I don't have to worry about getting it for them. Here you go, baby. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, what I have cooking for dinner tonight, we're prepping bacon wrapped chicken. It's just something I came up with. Um, I know it's a recipe, I'm sure people have made it before. So what I do was I take defrosted chicken, which in this case the chicken was never frozen. I got it and then I put it in the fridge. Um, but before it gets bad, I decided to cook it. I've been very tired. Haven't been really wanting to do anything. So I'm doing that now since my husband's home today. It's Friday. Um, so if you look in here, I put some olive oil, some chicken seasoning, even put some a little bit of chipotle seasoning, salt, pepper, and then the bacon speaks for itself. We'll see how it turns out. Um, this is probably not gonna be dinner tonight because I think my husband may want tacos or chili. That's okay, I'm working on it. Oh, let me tell you about my day. But before I tell you about my day, let me tell you about an accomplishment that was a mistake. Ooh, this lighting. <laughs> so we carved pumpkins for Halloween and we some of the, obviously some of the seeds are notorious for falling and getting all over the place, but I've been protecting this patch. They just a lot of them decided to grow. And so I've been kind of protecting it by putting the, a folding chair on top of it so that um, the children and our animals don't get on it. Look at that. So we got a little pumpkin. <laughs> we have a pumpkin patch growing. There's some over here. I don't know if they're going to make it. There's some over there. But this is the patch that I've been saving. Pretty cool. We may have pumpkins next year. Look at that. I have no idea how long um, it will take for these pumpkins to grow. These were special type of pumpkins. These are those mini white ones. So I'm, inter I'm interested to see how, how it turns up. But it's been enjoying the weather. I'm surprised it's growing because it hasn't rained too much here in Florida. It did rain the other day. Um, so it did get watered but it's pretty much been based off nature i'm not really doing anything to it i think as they get bigger um i'll keep an eye on them and we'll see uh what happens from there so about today i have been going for job interview after job interview since i got like a of my last job uh just just about a month ago i was a director over at chick-fil-a and they let me go due to 
uh, my physical limitations. I'm assuming it's because I'm pregnant, but um, who knows what who knows what the truth is. Um, can't do anything about it. But I'm moving on. But our finances, since they were cut in half from me losing my job. Ooh. I thought it was a squirrel, but I guess it's a nail gun in the in the distance. But um, so I've applied for something basic like Target. I've applied for management positions that follow my resume. I have a bachelor's in psychology, so I've been trying to uh, apply for anything that required a bachelor's degree. Um, but I'm trying not to be picky. I even applied for Popeyes. I've applied for McDonald's. Um, even though my back can't really handle too much of standing and everything, uh, I'd rather have a sitting position. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I went to an interview with a, an employment agency. So they have receptionist and admin sales positions that is majority sitting. Um, one position I'm hoping for is a data entry it's only thirteen dollar thirteen fifty an hour, but that's okay. Can't it's something coming in is better than nothing. So and it's fully remote, which is very important. Not too much phone call. So if my kids are noisy in the background, I can still focus and put data entry in and everything. And when the newborn comes, I can nurse and type or let the baby sleep and work around a certain schedule. So fingers crossed for that. Um We'll see. And I had my first interview with a call center, which was interesting because I, a majority of my work history is customer service and sales. Um, however, I've stayed away from call centers because I was nervous about it. It sounds really high paced, but they kind of branded themselves on, you know, if you don't have any job history, go here. Or uh, if you want to expand your resume, come here. They only paid eleven dollars an hour. Like, like I said, something's better than nothing. But they, um, I was told that some of their employees work remotely. I was told that there's over overnight shifts available, but um, apparently that's not true. You can't work remotely, and you can't do overnights. Um, but I guess they can work around anyone's schedule. So I guess the scheduling is flexible, which is good. But it's just gonna pay for my gas. Eleven dollars an hour. I mean. To, for today, I mean, it's just going to pay for my gas. It's not going to really bring anything in, but some, like I said, something's better than nothing. So I'm waiting to hear a call back, but I don't feel like there was a really good, I feel like I represented myself very well, but I also felt, um, what's the word? I don't want to say judged, but it, it was kind of nerve wracking. I mean, I'm dressed, I'm still kind of in my get up from earlier except I was wearing a jacket in the hopes that they wouldn't judge me for my baby bump right away and I would kind of bring it up to them and be like it's kind of obvious that I got a little bit of a belly I got a baby due next next month um so they weren't surprised I think the lady at the call center you can kind of see in her face that she wasn't too fond of that but people have to do what they have to do I mean what can you do um but I didn't really feel a really good one-on-one -on -one connection with that interview, which is unfortunate. Um, but I'm really hoping for the staffing position. Like I said before, I did apply for Target, and I did an interview with Target and everything. Um, but I didn't get a denial. I didn't get an approval. I touched base on it. Um, she just pretty much said, just wait to see if they put an update on my profile about it which I have a relationship with that target in particular, but I think they know I'm pregnant and I don't know if, uh, I, I don't know. I don't want to jump to conclusions because right now I feel like everyone's judging me based off the pregnancy, which I don't blame them. But at the same time, I just hope someone is kind of humble and understanding and knowing that even <laughs> those pregnant struggling mamas that's struggling financially, to uh, make ends meet currently, especially since losing my job got pretty bad. Um, hopefully they give us a chance. We need a chance too. Um, so we'll see what happens from that. 
But right now I'm just spending time with my kids and trying to make the most of it and then prepping for this new baby. Hi. <laughs> Let's see what my oldest is up to. My oldest is going potty right now, but uh, my three-year-old's going to join me. Sit down. Hi. What's your Hi. name? My name is Celine. Hi, Celine. How old are you? I'm, I'm forgetting my cereal box. Cereal box? Yeah. How old are you? Are you one? Yeah. No, two? Two. No. Are you three? Yeah. You're three years old, huh? I did this myself there the way Yeah, that's, that's right. That's not me. Are you old? Are you old? No, you're old. I'm old? How old is mommy? Are you one? Am I one? Two? Nope. Three? Nope. That's that's why. Look, one. Look at my fingers. One. Two. One. Mm-hmm. One finger. <laughs> one now finger. Now play with me the Sonic game. Okay, I'll play with you with the Sonic game. Hi. Mom's going to change the character. Mom's going to change the character. Sure, Kaylee. Mm. Here's my... Ooh, she's in her undies. But I'm going to try not to show that. Say hi. Hi. How old are you? I'm six. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> she's up... Your birthday's when? Past. It's past. Yes, it has passed. It was... October. October. Good job. You had a candy candy land uh, theme yeah. at school today, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. That was so fun. I'm glad. Um, <laughs> what? Well, I hear your sister. Hi, Moki. Say hi. I just woke up. Here's my 18 month old. Hi, monkey. You saying hi? Hi, Cassie. Hi, Cassie. <laughs> She's a grumpy girl whenever she gets up. Are you okay now? I got her for her. Don't jump in your bed, silly. Say hi. <laughs> All right, let's play. I'm gonna get you. I can't get you. We had a, a little jealousy situation with the tablet, so you may hear some whining for a second. But this one, it's okay. What happened? I'm gonna get you. Ha ha, you can't get me. supposed to play. <laughs> oh no, you got me, bro. No, I didn't. That's not fair to you. It's not fair to me. <laughs> so whenever she plays video games, she uh, when she's in a good mood, she'll say bro. <laughs> She's like, I got you, bro. I got you, bro. So has anyone else experienced that? My six-year-old's in kindergarten, and she, she comes home saying, bro. <laughs> you got this, bro. We're friends, bro. Quite funny. 
So that's what we're working with. What? Yeah. No fair. No fair. Oh my goodness. So she's obsessed with Sonic and we're playing this racing Sonic game. I'd show it, but I don't know the rules with uh, YouTube and copyright. <laughs> she's a sore loser. Mom, please don't. Please don't. Anyway, she does a very good job. She's, she takes it on. She's beaten me and my husband before in this racing game. But, uh,. It's about to get crazy. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I probably will record later tonight or tomorrow. We plan on going to see Christmas lights and I'll record that experience. Okay. And the 18 month old doesn't know how to work a tablet. So every two seconds I have to fix it. So <laughs> say thank you. <laughs> so have a great afternoon and I'll talk to you later.